हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वन बेसिक नेटवर्क ट्रबल शूटिंग सी दिस इज माय सिनेरियो इन माय सिनेरियो आई हैव थ्री डॉटर्स डॉटर वन डॉटर टू एंड डॉटर थ्री right then i have one pc as you can see router 1 is connected with one lan with switch 1 and this switch is connected with one pc pc 1 here you can assume we have multiple users right in this network then i have one server connected with router number 2 or you can say router 2 is connected with one isp and that isp is connected with another branch and in that branch the server is placed right the server is there or server is here connected with router number 2 right so you can see pc1 is in different network server is in different network now between pc and server let's say pc1 is my source and the server is my destination so between source and destination i have two path right when pc1 will generate any request message for the server let's say this pc is generating one icmp message icmp equal request message for the server right source ip will be the ip address of pc1 destination ip will be the ip address of server right source mac will be the mac address of pc1 destination mac will be the mac address of default gateway right now when router 1 will receive the traffic router 1 will check their routing table in their routing table you can see maybe router 1 will have you know best path via router number 2 or best path via router number 3 but router 1 have two choice right either router 1 can forward traffic to router number 2 or it can forward traffic to router number 3 to identify the path i have to check routing table of router 1 right and then let's say best path is via router number 2 so router 1 will forward traffic to router number 2 and router 2 will forward the traffic to server if best path is via router number 3 then router 1 will forward traffic to router 3 router 3 will forward traffic to router 2 and router 2 will forward traffic to server but here you can see what is problem problem over here is pc1 is not able to access server this is guys my problem right so first thing is what first of all you need to verify the problem that really pc1 is not able to access server so let me show you here i have console of all devices you can see pc1 router 1 router 2 router 3 and then server right from pc1 i am going to ping the server ping 192.168.1.1 so yes you can see request timeout timeout error right that means yes pc1 is really not able to ping the server right means pc1 is not able to access the server now how to troubleshoot guys first troubleshoot troubleshooting step will be what over here whenever we are pinging to a device which is present in different network right which is present in different network in that scenario as you know default gateway is required right so on pc1 default gateway is required and default gateway should be reachable from pc1 right then only pc1 can ping the server so first of all we should verify the default gateway configuration over here on this pc and then we should we should check the connectivity till or you can say to default gateway from this pc so let me do one thing first of all on router 1 i am going to check what ip address i am running on lan interface my lan interface on router 1 is what f1/1 right f1/1 this interface is the lan interface so on this interface i am going to check what ip address is running and that ip address will be default gateway for pc1 then i will verify what is the default gateway on pc number 1 and then we will uh, check the connectivity to default gateway so on pc1 i am going to run this command so ip interface brief and then we can say what exclude unassigned so you can see on fast ethernet 1/1 ip address is what 10.1.1.100 right so this is my ip address on router one lan interface again let me take you to client machine pc and here i can run command so ip all to check ip configuration of default gateway so pc ip address is what pc1 ip address is 10.1.1.1 and default gateway gateway ip address is what 10.1.1.100 this is correct right same ip address i am running on lan interface of router one now let me verify the connectivity till default gateway by pinging default gateway ip address from pc1 or other thing that you can do is you can check what so arp in the arp table you can see this pc have mac address of default gateway right right that means there is reachability or we can ping as well like ping 10.1.1.100 so you can see this pc pc1 is able to ping their default gateway so till now guys here we have verified that default gateway configuration is correct and pc is able to reach to their default gateway now what we need to verify we need to verify the routing table of r1 that r1 have route for the destination network or not destination network means this network 
1.0/24 network this is my destination network right so in the routing table of router 1 route should be available for this network or there should be one default route if this server is you know connected with isp is it present in different location let's say and both sides are connected with isp in that scenario maybe router 1 will have one default route or maybe router 1 will have you know uh, a specific route through bgp or through the tunnel right okay so now let me verify the routing table of r1 right to check that router one have route for destination network or not so what command i will run here so ip route 192.168.1.0 we can say slash 24 slash this command is not taking over here we can put submit mask 255.255.255.0 so you can see one route is there in the routing table of router one right routing entry for 192.168.1.0 24 and this network is known through which protocol through eigrp as number 10 right so we are running eigrp as number 10 between router 1 router 2 and router 3 for the reachability right so this distance value is 90 because this is internal route then this is metric value and after that you can check the next hop ip address or exit interface for this network right so last update from 13.1.1.3 13.1.1.3 is what router number 3 you can see here i am running this ip address 13.1.1.3 between router 1 and router 3 i am running 13 network 13.1.1.0 slash 24 right so next hop is 13.3 means best path is via which router via router number 3 right best path is via router number 3 okay so router 1 will forward traffic to whom to router number 3 now on router number 3 also we should have one route for the destination network so now i am going to check routing table of router 3 here so ip route and 192.168.1.0255.255.255.0 yes you can see in the routing table of router 3 also we have one route right again through eigrps number 10 and next hop is 23.1.1.2 this is IP address of router 2, this interface IP address, right? Here I am running this IP 23.1.1.2. Okay. So router 3 have route and router 3 is going to forward traffic to whom? To router number 2. Now let me take you to router number 2. Maybe this interface is done or any reason can be, you know, reason can be anything. Let me take you to R2 and on R2 I am going to check routing table directly. In the routing table, yes, you can see one directly connected network. This network is directly connected on fast ethernet 1 slash 1 this is also correct right and from router number 2 if i am going to ping 192.168.1.1 to server you can see server is reachable from router number 2 from router number 3 let me ping the server ping 192.168.1.1 so from router number 3 also you can see i am able to ping the server right let me ping from router number 1 from the router number 1 i am going to ping server 192.168.1.1 from router number one also you can see i am able to ping the server but from pc1 i am not able to ping from pc1 from pc1 if i am going to ping 192.168.1.1 you can see request timeout right so from pc1 i am not able to ping server but from router one i am able to ping server guys in this scenario definitely you know control plane traffic is blocked control sorry not control plane data plane traffic is blocked from a specific source from PC1 to this server may be right so here what I need to check I need to check the configuration of interfaces right so as you know best path is which path between source and destination best path is this one this is best path let me let me increase the size here yes this is best path right so i am going to check you know configuration of this interface fast ethernet 1 slash 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of router 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of router 3 fast ethernet 0 1 slash 0 of router 3 and fast ethernet 1 slash 0 of router 2 right i need to check running configuration of these interfaces right maybe there is some access control list or prefix list is applied or not there right so what i will do for this I will access again router 1 let's begin from router number 1 on router number 1 so run interface f1 slash 1 so on the LAN interface you can see configuration is only default right only IP configuration is there right then I can check what so run interface f0 slash 0 
on this interface also you can see configuration is only default right there is no any uh, filtering applied over here okay now let me take you to r3 on r3 i am going to check so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 again on this interface also you can see guys only ip configuration is there right then next interface so run interface f21 slash 0 on this interface on this interface also you can see only ip configuration is there nothing else right now let me take you to router number 2 and on router number 2 so run interface f1 slash 0 here you can see this is ip configuration after that here you can see guys this configuration right urpf configuration right unicast reverse path forwarding right is enabled on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 right so maybe because of this configuration right pc1 is not able to ping server right so how we will verify it we can simply check the you know ip configuration of this interface here i can run this command so ip interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 right so let me check the output yes here you can see 25 verification drops 25 verification drops because of what urpf so what is happening over here guys as you know when you will enable urpf on this interface then what will happen whenever router 2 will receive any unicast packet over here whenever router 2 will receive any unicast packet on this interface it will check reverse path it will check reverse path reverse path means what means router 2 will check if i need to forward the traffic back to the source will i use same interface or not will i use same interface or not so maybe right now router 2 is not using same interface to forward the reply packet getting my point what i am saying what i am saying guys let's say when pc1 will ping to server source ip will be what 10.1.1.1 destination ip will be what 192.168.1.1 getting my point now pc1 will forward this traffic to router 1 router 1 will forward this traffic to router 3 router 3 will forward this traffic to router number 2 router 2 will receive traffic on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 here urpf is enabled urpf is enabled so router 2 is going to check what reverse path it is going to check if i need to forward this traffic back to the source means when reply will come let's say when re server will generate reply right in the reply source will be what 192 168 1.1 1 .1. destination will be what 10.1.1.1 right server will forward this reply packet to router 2 and router 2 is going to check their routing table right again if router 2 is using same interface to forward the reply packet right if router 2 will forward reply packet from same interface from fast ethernet 1 slash 0 means toward router number 3 then only router 2 will allow request packet right then only router 2 will forward request packet to server otherwise it will drop it because of urpf so in simple word what we can say what is UR, urpf urpf is you can say urpf is you can say a urpf enable interface whenever a urpf enable interface will receive traffic it will check reverse path right if it is using same interface to forward reply packet right or you can say if it is using same interface to forward traffic in source forward traffic to source then only it will allow the traffic otherwise it will drop the traffic so maybe right now router 2 is not using same interface this interface to forward traffic in this network right so maybe router 2 is using you know this interface for the reply packet because of that router 2 is dropping the packet so let me show you here on router number 2 on router number 2 what i can do i can run so ip route command and which network 10.1.1.0 network 255 255 255.0 so yes you can see guys for this network exit interface is what fast ethernet 0 slash 0 next up is what ip address of router 1 right so router 2 will forward traffic in 10 network from this interface right not from this interface because of this router 2 is dropping request message because router 2 is receiving icmp request packet over here on this interface on this interface urpf is enabled so it is taking reverse path but reverse path is different exit inter is from different exit interface right to forward traffic to the source it is 
using different interface, right? It is using different interface as a exit interface because of this router two is dropping the packet. Guys, if you don't know what is VRF, sorry, URPF, you can watch my, you know, previous video, right? On my channel, there is one video available, right? On URPF, so you can check that video. For now, what I can do here, for the reachability between PC1 and PC2, I can configure one static route for this network because you can see right now router 2 have learned this network through EIGRP protocol, right? Through EIGRP protocol and next stop is what? Next stop is 12.1.1.1, right? So if I will configure one static route over here, IP route and 10.1.1.0, 255, 255.0, 255.0 exit interface is fast ethernet 1 slash 0. So as you know, a static route have lower AD value than EIGRP. So router 2 will prefer a static route, right? So now you can see for source network exit interface will be what same, right? Fast ethernet 1 slash 0. So it will allow the traffic. So simply here on router number 2, I can configure one a static route. Simply I can run this command IP route. 10.1.1.0, 255, 255, 255.0, and exit interface is what fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. Now, from the PC1, again I am going to ping the server, and now you can see ping is working. Now you can see ping is working. Now, why ping is working? Because now on router number 2, right, router 2 is using same interface to forward reply packet, right? Router 1 is using same interface for reply packet. Or if you don't want to configure a static route over here right on router number two then what is the second option if i will remove this static route say no to this again this client machine cannot ping right right you can see pc1 is not able to ping the server now what we can do guys see from the router number two to reach in this network in 10 network so test path is via router number one yes or no so test path is via router number one or you can say simple word to reach in this network to server from router number one so test path is via router number two so that's why here engineer have configured what urpf so that it should not receive any traffic of this network on this interface right it should receive traffic on this interface right so what we can do here now we can make this path as a best path upper path as a best path so if router one will install this network this destination network in the routing table in the routing table via router number two right then router two will receive request on which interface on fast ethernet zero slash zero and again if you will enable urpf over here right so reverse path is also same right if router two need to forward reply packet in this network it will use same interface so even if urpf is enabled over here communication will work right pc1 can ping to server so what i can do i can make this path as a best path between source and destination so simply i can check the configuration of router 1 and router 2 right why this path is lower path is longest path is the best path so on router number one you can see guys here if i will check so running configuration of interface f1 slash 1 on 1 slash 1 we have default configuration only ip configuration on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 we have only ip configuration right and on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 you can see here we have manipulate the delay value of eigrp right right that's why lower path is the best path so if i will remove this command from here go to interface f 1 slash 0 and say no to this command delay 100 now what will happen now see so ip route 192.168.1.0255.255.255.0 now next hop is what 12.1.1.2 means router number two so this time best path between source and destination is this one getting my point guys so again now pc1 can ping to server so from here i am going to verify the connectivity yes you can see now i am able to ping so guys this was a small troubleshooting right between three routers hope now it's clear to you what was the problem and how we fix fix it right now if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys that's all for today thanks for watching